But wait, there's more. And we finna get into it, y'all. So without further ado, intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. What is good, Creek Squad fam? What is good, Goon Squad and State Squad fam? And of course, Great White Gang. It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another uh, review video. Now, this is part two uh, of the conversation between uh, ACAL and both uh, Triple T and Alpha Tyler. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, pick up right from where we left off by liking the hee hee. I, I don't know him. Yeah, you do. If you know Jesse Howard, you know. No, I've never met him in my life. I've met Jesse Howard. I've been around Jesse Howard. Or, isn't that what we're arguing about? I don't know this person. I don't know that person. Never met this. I never met. I never met Newbreed. I've met Jesse Howard several times. Okay. See, see, even the Brody Alpha Tyler got the reference too. Like, isn't this what we're arguing about now? Who knows who? Let's go. And I think he's a great human. I don't know. He Newbreed. is. He's my brother. Yeah, I don't know Newbreed. Thank you for the two super chat, Rickster. So I'm here. If you got any other questions, I'm here. And so you don't got to guess no more or throw fucking stupid bullshit out there on the wall fucking for views. Other than fight music, what have I said stupid about you? Come on. You got people. Okay. Maybe not just specifically you, but the people that you have on your panel with you. They don't Those count. are subscribers of the panel. They're not, they're not c content creators. They're not, not you YouTubers. You have content creators on here? Yes. This guy right here. Everybody else was subscribers. No, 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 I'm not talking about today. I'm talking about in general. Yeah, sometimes they'll come up here, yeah. Okay, okay. So you have different content creators on there who are who are talking shit after I still have been silent for fucking months. But but I, I think they took my <laughs> silence as, as a weakness. It was just me being like, man, I, I'm done with this shit. Fuck this shit. This, this, is fu this is the gayest shit ever. And now it's on because I just said something. Now... I got to sit here and argue with a fucking overgrown fucking toddler on the fucking internet for the next fucking six months. Ryan Upchurch ruined my motherfucking career, bro. Do it. Do it. Oops. I worked my... I had to agree with ACAL that yes, Ryan is the biggest child, the biggest toddler on the internet. You know what I mean? With all the shit that he, he talks and everything, you know what I mean? Uh, acting like a, like a big dog again while hiding behind a computer screen my whole fucking life i go right back to fucking work i'm a fucking i'm a dad i'm a fucking husband motherfucker do it ain't not nobody scared of ryan motherfucking up church facts period i'm not saying you are yeah that's not what this other motherfuckers up there were saying oh he'll ryan up church will crush him in a battle but once again i'm a rapper that's, what, that's the great thing about this country. It's called freedom of speech. People have the right to say what they want, think what they want, and have their I, own game. True. I mean, Triple T is not, not wrong there. Opinion. That's not what I'm talking about. You, okay, but, so, saying, but you're you, sitting you, here trying to say that, that we're promoting the negativity against you. What I'm saying what you is... Just said. What I'm saying is, when you say, oh, this in the battle, this would happen, in the battle, this would happen, nobody's worried about a fucking battle. That's the least of my fucking worries. Do you think, that literally, we're talking about life. We're talking about Ryan Upchurch. Who the fuck is Ryan Upchurch? Who the fuck is Adam Calhoun? I'm no different than you and the man sitting next to you, Tyler. We're, we're talking about real life. A year from now, nobody's going to give a fuck about any, any of this shit that's being said right now. You're right. And yeah, he, he is right about that. A year from now, no one's going to care about this shit. This shit's going to be old, you know what I mean? And we're going to be on to the next big thing. And let me go ahead and close this window. Apologies for the background noise. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, no one's going to care about this a year from now. I mean, hell, no one's probably going to care about this like months from now. Okay. So I, when you, when motherfuckers like, Ooh, he's scared. Ooh, oh, does it sound, do I, 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 motherfucker? I am not scared of shit. I didn't have to no, walk not. out in that street in fucking Tennessee and fight some dude wearing fucking a bulletproof vest and baby oil all over him. Smelled like a fucking Afghan fucking motherfucking tumbleweed dingleberry. I didn't have to fucking do that. <laughs> there we go. See, now this is a cow. Being a cow right here, you know what I mean? And he and this is a cow in chill mode. When he's joking, you know, you know he's he's back in his chill mode. Let's go. 
But I fucking went out there in the motherfucking middle of the street like a fucking knucklehead and fucking, you, you see me running away from shit? I don't do that. I didn't so, say that you did. I, I Thank you. But I'm saying, do you think I'm going to run away from Ryan Upchurch? No. I was being quiet because, number one, I feel, honestly, I feel some type of way for my friend and seeing how he is now. He's He's different. He ain't the same. And I know people. And I can agree with that. I mean, again, you know, look at how Ryan's been treating Adam as of late. You know what I'm saying? Like just all of a sudden out of a, out of the blue, he now has issues with Adam and he doesn't have receipts to support his reasoning for being upset with Adam and everything. And then, you know, you looking back and you look at Adam's my friend video. I mean, you could tell Adam was hurt. Adam was genuinely hurt. You could tell if you go back and watch the, the my friend video that he put out. You know what I mean? It's like, I can't help but feel, feel for Adam. And, and, and I'm sorry, but I know they, they, they said we don't have to choose and everything, but I'm sorry. But given with what I have to deal with as far as Upchurch is, is concerned and hearing now Adam's side of things, I'm sorry, but I'm starting to lean more towards uh, Team Adam at this point. You know what I mean? But that's just me, though. I'm not saying anyone else has to follow my footsteps. No, if you still rock with church, that's cool. Rock with church. You know what I mean? I'm not saying don't. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, look, we're all individuals, right? And we all ha have a right to rock with whoever we want to rock with. Like whoever you want to like. It it's all good with me. Anyway. People in the comments can see that shit. That's the fucking truth. I never turned my fucking back on that man ever. I was never a middle man. If he if fucking he needed anything, of course I'm going to fucking be there. When, when FJ Outlaw got out of his fucking deal, Ryan called me. I want to get FJ Outlaw out of his deal. Call so Can you make it happen? Yeah, I'll call, I'll call Ken right now. Get fucking Bobby on the phone. Hey. But he'll get off of your fucking neck if you fucking release FJ from his fucking shit. We got him out of there. Done deal. So was I the middleman or was I being a friend? Being a friend. You being a friend. Okay. Absolutely. When, when I got fucking four people who I thought were actually friends, me, Jelly, Struggle, and Church, and they're all going to be the same place, and there's tension, I'm going to be there so nothing happens. And if anything does happen, I told Ryan that fucking day in his house, I've known you longer. I took off my fucking gold chains and said, and placed them away. And I said, if any, I don't want anything bad to happen. If shit hits the fan, I want you to know that I'm standing here with fucking you. Because I see now that's a real one. And that's a loyal one. And church kicked him to the curb, kicked him to the curb. I should say. So I'm sorry, but in, in this situation, if we're looking at it objectively, who's the real motherfucker in this situation? I'm just saying, I've known you the longest. That is fucking real. That fucking happened. I've never turned my fucking back on him. I mean, I feel, I, and, and I've been saying just my two cents for what it's worth, and I know it's not worth a ton. I've been saying, though, like, like everybody immediately jumped to Ryan's aid and said, fuck Adam, but there's not, not proof of shit. That, and I'm not saying, I'm not even saying that Adam never did anything against Ryan. You want to you know what but I'm saying? And, and to, to Tyler's point, he is not wrong. And I have admitted that, yeah, when, when the shit first kicked, first kicked off, yes, I did jump to uh, Upchurch's side. I sided with, with, with Ryan. Because, like I said, up until that point, he's never been wrong when, when calling people out because he usually shows receipts. But then, like I said, after I did that video, that February 13th video, or, what, or whenever that video is, is, is dated, when Ryan was in bed and he blasts a cow's comment, and everything acting like he was all sad and, and hurt and everything yeah i started with with, with with church at that point but then i i like what i'm trying to get at is i stopped though i i stopped i took a moment looked at everything and i and i started to question you know wait a minute if if this is true if adam really fucked you over and he made these diss tracks where's the receipts to show proof that all this happened you know what I'm saying? Because even when I did the reaction to A Cal's My Friend video, yeah, I'll admit I, I was tough. Maybe I was a little tougher on A Cal than, than I should have been. Um, but even then, I still try to give um, Adam the benefit of the doubt and just wanted him to acknowledge, you know, the whole diss track situation and just say one way or another, did you do it? Did you not? I mean, and then either way, I would have to take A Cal at, at his word because I don't know what, what he did. You know, behind the scenes, you know, um, away from the internet or not, you know what I mean? I don't know any of that. So whether he, whether or not he, he says he does it, like I said, I would have to take him at his word. You know what I mean? And to to be off, to be to be fair. Oh man, 
anyway, let's get back into this. I've never turned my fucking back on him. I mean, I feel I and and I've been saying just my two two cents for what it's worth, and I know it's not worth a ton. I've been saying though, like like everybody immediately jumped to Ryan's aid and yep. said fuck Adam, yep. but there's not proof of shit that and I'm not saying I'm not even saying that Adam never did anything against Ryan. You wanna you wanna know what's so crazy? What, sorry, Tyler, you wanna know what's so crazy? Good. When when listen, the day that he dropped that fucking video of him laying in his bed acting like he was hurt and all that bullshit, I was fucking furious. Because I was, and I grabbed my shit to make a fucking video, and but I didn't. And then I did, grabbed my phone again to say something, but I didn't, to respond. I got to respond, right? This motherfucker just talked crazy about me. Are you listening, Tim? Yeah. Are you texting fucking Kurt? No, I'm not texting Kurt. Why would I text Kurt? I love fucking with Tim. God, <laughs> I love fucking with Tim. It's like my fucking, he's like my uncle. All right, so. <laughs> fucking Adam. <laughs> that was actually funny. So, uh, uh. What the fuck was I just saying? Oh, so he makes that video, right? So I go, I go, I, I'm pissed. I'm pissed as a motherfucker. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame, I, I, and actually I don't blame Adam for feeling that way. Cause like I said, if I was in his shoes, man, my best friend, who's also a content creator like me, if he did that, you know what I mean? I, I'd be feeling some type of way too. I'd be, I'd be angry and pissed off too. You know what I'm saying? So I don't blame Adam at all for, for feeling th this way, that, that for feeling the way that he feels, I mean, this is a man right here, you know, letting letting us all in, being vulnerable now at this point, man. Let's go. I sat there for fucking weeks with this fucking lump in my chest, furious, like I, I wanted to fucking fucking hurt somebody. I never made a video, and then I said, okay, is it possible that I could that I wanted to make a fucking uh that I made a diss track on Ryan? Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe I, maybe I did somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I get, I'm giving him the benefit of the fucking doubt. I'm giving this motherfucker the benefit of the doubt. Like, yeah, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe. I so to the moron who left a comment in one of my videos in regards to this, I believe it was the Adam Calhoun, um, the recent Adam Calhoun video where Adam was calling out Ryan. Um, Someone said, oh, Aiko said he, he made diss tracks. No, that's not what he said. He just said right now, maybe he did. He doesn't know. That doesn't mean, oh, yeah, I totally made diss tracks on Ryan. No, 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 no. Maybe. You left out the keyword, maybe. Maybe he did. But again, he doesn't know. He doesn't know where, if he did, where, where are they then? I mean, he doesn't even know where they are if he's made them. So that right there should tell you something. Maybe I did. I just don't remember. Maybe I did. And then I'm like. There's, first of all, be and 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 let's let's speak on this whole like, you know, not remembering things. Ryan said he doesn't remember meet meeting Mises, and we're, well, not we we because um I don't agree with that, um but you got his his little dick riders, you know what I'm saying? Ryan's dick riders, you know what I mean? Giving Ryan that pass, like oh yeah yeah yeah, who cares what these people say? Yeah, if you don't know that dude, you don't know that dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, we get it. You meet a bunch of different people. Well, Acal saying he doesn't remember making any diss tracks, so why can't we just give Acal that pass? Like, all right, well, if you don't remember, then odds are you didn't do them. So let's just let's, let's just let it go. Biasness is one hell of a drug, ain't it? Hypocrisy is one hell of a drug too, ain't it? As a man, put yourself in that position. He's talking about diss. Track. I've been mad. Diss track. Have I wanted to diss Ryan before? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I've wanted to diss him before. 100 fucking percent. And guess what? He's wanted to diss me too. I've heard from so many different fucking people how much shit this motherfucker has talked about me behind closed fucking doors. Fuck yes, I... So, see, you want to you wanna act like Ryan is this is this angel? Hmm? This, this saint that can do no wrong, can walk on water and everything? Acal just said, hey, look, dude is no different. He's done the same things that y'all are accusing Adam of doing. All the things you accuse Adam of doing, Church has actually done. And who would know better than the guy who was close to him and has the same connections as Ryan up Church? I wanted to diss that motherfucker. And guess what? If I fucking did a diss track and it never got released, who gives a fuck? And number two, he dissed Tom. Facts. Like I said, if, if he made the diss tracks, right? Then at least the smartest thing Acal did with those was that he never dropped them. He never released re released them. You know what I mean? That I even said that in my in the Acal my friend reaction video. 
Tom McDonald twice, right? If he's mad at me and I have these diss tracks and all that, why hasn't he fucking dissed me? <laughs> True. Because yeah. out of respect for my family? You think this motherfucker has respect for anything or anyone? No. You don't fucking know, Ryan. You're about to see. Everyone's about to see because he's going to show everyone his side. I just hope I don't have to fucking go to court because everyone he gets into it on the internet with, he's got to go to fucking court with. Not wrong. Again, you look at the laundry list of people he's gone to court with. I ain't lying. No, <laughs> no. Uh, you guys are acting like this dude's a bad motherfucker. This dude ain't a bad motherfucker. Bad motherfuckers don't air their mothers out on the fucking internet. I mean, yeah, that that is all kinds of wrong. And I know someone's going to say, well, you, you reacted to that whole situation. Here's the thing. I didn't want to react to that whole situation at first. I didn't feel comfortable in, in giving my opinions on it. But then I took a poll. Because the voice of my subscribers, you know what I'm saying, matter to me. So I took a poll asking all of my subs, hey, do you guys want me to react to that vlog video where Ryan finally addressed the situation between him and his mom? Yes, no, whatever the case. And the majority of the people voted yes. So there you go. I did that video for those who wanted me to do it. Not for the ones who did it because... The majority favored me making that video. Had the majority voted against it, I wouldn't have done it. Get the fuck your mom, bro. I don't yeah, give a fuck what it. she did to you. It was all. Exactly. That, that That's your mom. And I'm not saying that just because she's your mom, she was in the right. No, absolutely. She's not. What I'm saying is because that's your mom, you two need to get that situation handled off the Internet, behind the scenes. Nobody needs to know. You know what's going on between you and your mom, and nobody needs you to try to paint your mom out like as this awful person. Because then you got his other relatives too going on the internet talking about how awful Patty is and everything. You know what I mean? Everyone started ganging up on Patty and everything. Which I don't care what what she did. I mean that's that's not fair, dude. You don't you don't do that to your family, dude. You don't air out your family like that on the internet. Then you get other family members involved and have them air her out too and everything, trying to paint her up as this awful person because in my book i'm sorry but you're no better than that person that you're trying to paint as this horrible human being you're, you're just as bad as she is by freaking blasting her out on the internet out in the open public with no shame i'm just saying oh good all good what man sooner or let man some these some of these people are poisoned by this shit not wrong fucking let's go nail me to the motherfucking cross fucking air me the fuck out motherfucker i dare you do it I know you're watching right He's not talking now. to you, Tim. Don't be mad. <laughs> I know he's watching right fucking now. And see, I, I don't doubt that Church Church um, watches uh, Triple T. Because obviously he made references to this live. And so, you know, Church could have easily jumped onto this panel. And we, and we could have easily had gotten this whole thing again taken care of. This whole thing could have been squashed. Since it couldn't have been avoided sooner. I mean, you know, again, you had another opportunity to squash all this shit. But no, you don't want to. Why? Because you got a new album coming out, Creaker 3. So why kill the drama? Are you afraid that Creaker 3 won't do well because there's no drama surrounding this release? Just like your past releases? Just asking questions. I mean, I think he's welcome up if he is watching, yeah. And then people talking about I, I, fucking... Man, I'm even getting other people in this. Listen, listen. Tim, I'm sure... Listen. What, I believe you're a Marine. Don't insult Army. me like that. Don't insult me like that. Well, first of all, don't... Marine. My son was in the Army. The Marines are the baddest motherfuckers. No. I'm not no, they're not. Them. No, they're not. Let me tell you no, something. This is not. a true that's, story. That's propaganda. Okay, I've been to combat four story, different times. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a true I'm, story after this. I've been to combat four times. Thank you. Every time I've been to combat with a Marine and we start receiving fire, that motherfucker tucked his tail and ran like a bitch in a, and locked him combat locked himself in a Humvee and re <laughs> shout out to Triple T. No, for real though, shout out to Triple T for his services and shout out to Alpha Tyler for his services as well, man. Let's go. Fused to get out because we were being fired at. And I'm talking E7, gunnery sergeant. Supposed okay. to be the baddest motherfuckers of the Marines. Well, God bless stop you, capping. Jim, and thank stop you. capping. Thank you for your service. Hollywood has made the Marines out to be the well, bad I got a buddy.
<laughs> Mr. A Cal, what's your cap size? Cap size. <laughs> Let's go. Just the only good thing about the Marines is their uniform. Other than that, ain't shit. That's true. They got some fire ass. Right, well, I have a very good friend, uh, Justin Oric, who was in uh, two combat tours, Purple Heart, only one Purple Heart. Um, and he's a Marine, and he's a bad motherfucker. And he's. Hey, he works for you. Yeah, he's a good guy. Uh, and he's always, it's funny how all the branches make fun of each other uh, and they go at it with each other. Oh, yeah, see, I, I didn't know that until I started talking with Tyler since, you know, again, he's, he, he's you know, former Army uh, vet. You know what I mean? He's eight-year Army vet. And, uh, yeah, I had no idea that the branches attack each other like that. That's, that's, that's funny. My son was in the Army. He was Airborne Infantry. Uh, but anyways, I, yeah, I, I always, I respect the fuck out of, any middle collar, blue collar workers. That's where I came from. I always respect the military and their service, but I always will also square up and scrap with anybody at any time. I've also done that with Justin. Uh, and it's not because I, 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 I don't know why I fight or want to fight. It's just, I don't know what the fuck, what, what that is in me. That's something I'm trying to kill. Um, but I would love to, to come to your house and, and, and we can do whatever you want Tim. And it'll just be uh, me and you out there. Okay, bet. I am down 100%. I am too. But that doesn't mean that I don't respect what you did for this country. But if you really believe that I'm a bad human being, then let's sort that yeah, out. Yeah, okay, let me ask you this, Adam Calhoun. Yeah, sure. Have you have you ever heard Triple T come on here and say, Adam Calhoun is a piece of shit. No. He's the worst. For Okay, then. No, but I have heard you say some things that I would never say about you, like I, if I didn't know that for it to be true. I would never... Like I said, there are three things, and those three things that you should never say about another motherfucker unless you know, and that is fucking with a little kid, rape, and fucking hitting a woman. To be fair, that that, that is fair. And, and that, once again, I apologize. Tim, you already said sorry, and I and and and, and I don't even like that when, when men apologize. But I appreciate it. Thank you. I wouldn't. I don't hit women. See that church? See how how how. You know, respectful. This conversation is getting now between these two men. Hmm. Adam acknowledges that Tim has apologized, and he, you know, appreciates the apology. See, Church, this is why you're losing subs right now because you can't be on their level as far as being a man is concerned. This is how grown, mature men behave. Thirty-three years old, and you're nowhere near this level as a man. I think I don't care about your numbers. I don't care about your money. Those are all material things that you can't take with you when when your time comes. As far as being a man, you still have a lot of growing to do. You want to talk about being on some grown man shit. This is grown man shit right here. And you know nothing about it. And therefore, you should not talk on it. There's a, there's a fucking AI generated fucking... I had to do a video on this shit because the internet... Right. So, okay. A company in Britain. Yeah. I'm yeah. Okay. So I, it's, it's like that shit, that shit is really... It's different if it's true. Then I got to be like, yes, I fucking did that, and and that was wrong, and mother, and then I have to be an advocate of why men shouldn't do that, right? Like, I have to stand on whatever I fucking do that is wrong. You know what I'm saying? And if Upchurch wants to make videos about me and fucking air out whatever the fuck all the dirt that he's got on everybody, and and I have to stand on whatever the fuck I have done wrong, just like he does. Yep. But have you? Yep, yep. And this is why we need to start. More of us needs to start holding him accountable for what he says and what he does. We can't act like church is perfect. He's not perfect. He's very much fallible, and we need to start holding him accountable. And the more of us that hold him accountable, the more likely he can probably, you know, finally look at himself and say, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I did mess up. I, I, I messed up. I, I done some, some pretty shitty things. And I got to own that. You know what I mean? Creek Squad is not happy with me right now. They're holding me accountable for this, this all, these awful things that I've done. And I got to acknowledge that. I have to own that. I have to stand on that. Like a man. On some grown man shit. And, and I got to apologize for that shit. Like a man. You ever seen that motherfucker said sorry in his whole life? Not a single time. Not that I can recall. Yeah, well. We're not the same people. And I think everyone that meets me and knows me in real life knows knows the difference. It's just, man, this is crazy, though, dog. Like this is this is this is fucking crazy that this is where my life has gotten to and this is where 
I guess my career or whatever the fuck's gotten to. But w- when people on the internet start talking about scared and why ain't he saying nothing, motherfucker, I'm trying to be peaceful. I'm trying mm. to not fucking stir up anything. I'm mm. sitting back fucking just letting letting him poke at me, letting him say dumbass shit about me, letting fucking people on the internet fucking believe whatever they want, and I'm just sitting here and I'm supposed to take that shit? Yeah, it's not fair to fuck him. Fuck the high road. I'm done with the high road. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, like I said, Ryan needs to face the consequences for his actions, for the half-truths that he's telling, the lies that, that he's also spitting. You know what I mean? He he needs to face the consequences. Appreciate the $20 super chat. Wix3 said, A-Cow Apparel made in the USA. Yeah, that's another thing. Everyone was talking about this. Listen, man, this, this Tom shit. Let me ask you this. If Ryan had a problem with Tom... The first time I ever worked with Tom, do you think that I would have went and worked with Tom? Nope. No. Do I? No. No, I don't think so. There's only two of you in here. <laughs> yeah. I don't see a chat. I'm sorry, guys. I can't see the chat. I can only see you. See, like I mentioned in the last video, he, he can't see the chat, and that's why he didn't want to be bothered with the chat, because he couldn't see it. I just I just been muting because like I'm letting you get You guys had an issue. I like both of you, so I was just letting you guys talk. No, I, I fuck with Tim because he's not a bitch. So, so... See that little, little respect right there? Quote, I fuck with Tim because Tim is not a bitch. I, I went and did that first project with Tom. Who gives a fuck? That, my whole career, that's what I've done. I've tried to do my first. Everyone's like, oh, Upchurch made you. Without Upchurch, you wouldn't be where you are. What? I was already viral all over the fucking place. Uh, okay, so you're talking. You're not talking about the internet and, how, and, and my viral. No, I'm talking about music. Okay, so now we're talking about music. Okay. You wouldn't be where you were without Upchurch. I have. Have you ever seen me in an interview talk bad about Ryan ever? Not a single time ever. Like I've said, you know what I mean. In Acal's defense, go watch every single Acal interview, right? When he and Ryan were, were were tight, and whenever Ryan's name would come up in in the interview, Acal always gave Ryan his flowers, gave him his roses. Always has. Always gave Ryan his tribute. And look how Ryan is acting right now towards Acal. No. Never. I've always said, you know what? I've said his name so much and gave him so much respect on his fucking name that people literally think without him I wouldn't be shit. But guess what? We did that one song off my first fucking album together. My very second album. Was he on it? Yeah. No, he wasn't. Your second album or yes, first album? My second album. He was not on it. You know what I did right away? I went and got people that I thought were dope to try to help grow the genre. Katie Noel, that was a bad move. Oh, yeah, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great song. I that great yeah. song. I had to take that song off of YouTube after what happened again because that's my friend, right? That That is true. I remember when, uh, as a matter of fact, that was when I first started reacting to Ryan. My my first reaction video ever. Go If you go to my, my video listings, right, and you go to my oldest videos, you'll see the first reaction I did was that Ryan of Church uh, Kill Shot remix called Skill Shot where he was firing shots at... Uh, Katie Noel, Shotgun Shane, Hozier, um, and everything. And yes, I remember um, reacting to Adam's video around that time where he talked about, you know, taking down uh, the Catch Hell video that he did with Katie Noel and everything, man, because that's how much love and respect he had for his brother. December 29th, 2019. Yep. Okay, mm-hmm. so I, I took that video off my YouTube after it had like 30 million fucking views, which some of these motherfuckers would probably sell their mother for to get. I yeah. deleted it. I didn't hide it. I deleted the fucking video off of my YouTube channel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Why? Because that's my friend, right? Yep. There I was no, that. there was no like, oh no, I can't believe I'm about to do this. It was like, fuck it. Who gives a fuck? See you later. Not even a thought. Second album, I got Broadnex on that album. I think his name was Mr. Broadnex at the time. Is he on my third album? Nope. He's not on my third album either. You know who is Broadnex and other people? I think Chuck. Maybe he's on my second and third album, too. So people are saying, okay, what about all the songs Church has done with people? Where are they at? Where are these people at? Right. Did, did I not question that, too? I mean, all these people that Church has done music with, where are, yeah, where are they? And I'm not even talking about artists that, he, that were featuring in his music. His original production team, his engineering team, it's not the same team that it was way back when. It's a completely new team that, you know, was off to a rough start. And yeah, over time they got better, but still. What about music videos and songs that Ryan's done with other people? Where are they? Yeah, not wrong. So is that it? Is that how it works? You do a song and a video at Ryan Upchurch and you blow up? Or am I actually good at what I do? 
No, you're a dope rapper. I've always Thank gave you your flowers for that. Man, I appreciate it. Thank you. I just like just just like your last track you did. Um, um, the butcher or no? No, no, not are the butcher. Are you talking about the one that came out today? No, 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 no. no. Where he's standing in front of the mic? Oh, the shook one. Oh, shook one. Shook one. Yeah. 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 Okay, and then even in that song, even that, that was fucking... that was a fire ass track. I'm not gonna lie. Even though you took shots at us, that was still I fire. I didn't take shots at you. Come on, Adam. You gotta be real with that one. Good Come dance reactors. Okay, whatever. Th- that, that's fine. <laughs> Tim, I've always gave you respect, Tim. Every all the time. I've been in your comments. Hey, much respect, Tim, because he's fair. Tim is fair. T- Tim is Tim is fair. He is fair. But at the same time, that shit with the w- woman shit. That come on, bro. That would have hit you wrong. That would have hit anybody wrong. To be fair, because I- and Tyler is one hundred percent correct on that one. Yeah, if. Someone spread rumors like that about me. I mean, hey, that that would rub me the wrong way, and that would definitely piss me off too. I mean, again, you know, I'm I'm just I'm just answering honestly because I know me. I'm just saying. I I, I know how you and I stand on that, Tim. That would have hit both of us wrong yeah. if somebody was yeah. saying something. I, look, like I've that. been called a pedophile. I've been called a woman beater. Well, I've been bullshit. called all that shit. But have you been called that shit online? Yeah. 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 By big influencers that are fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like. I wouldn't say big influencers, but quite a few people. Not big influencers, just little, you know, moronic fuckboys who live in a metal box in the middle of buttfuck nowhere on the East Coast. I wouldn't say big influencers, but quite a few people that put out fucking fake ass videos saying right, that well, I fucking okay, well, that can I fuck two year olds and all that shit. Yeah, I get it. You understand where I'm coming from, at, at where I am at, as far as in my life, in my career, what I do. That how that like that I can't have that. Now, if it's true. Then I, that's something that I got to deal with. That's something that I got to fucking live with and explain and fucking try to endure through. And hopefully people can forgive me. Right. But but if it's not true, that's that, that that's why I come in these lives. hot because I'm holding all this shit in for two months, dog. But you got I bet you got a great live out of it. When? Right now. <laughs> right. Motherfucking now. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm going to say this to the chat, too. First of all, like. 20 minutes ago, that's just how men ha- handle grievances. They don't when understand that because they don't, they, they don't get off the fucking internet. They're just fucking yeah. trolls that make comments. They don't understand <laughs> yep. that. They don't understand that me and Tim can actually <laughs> go in the front yard, throw hands, sit down, sweating, and fucking bleeding and be like, fuck you, fuck you too. Me, hey, let's me, go fucking hey. walk. Hey, and I'll say this. Me and Tim have had our rounds. When me and Tim were at our worst, we still would talk on the phone about shit True. that wasn't related to internet shit and be yep. like, yeah, fuck you at the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's the thing, dog. Like, people got to understand, like... Oh, look in the private chat. A man, like, I'm real men... This, can you see this in the private chat, what I'm seeing? Oh, my gosh. This fucking, fucking guy. Bradley. Speaking of morons. You go away. Yeah, ig- ignore that shit. That that's that's a troll that we have no, been this, dealing with for this four name fucking is years. This with them facts. Who's that? He's a yeah, moron. That's the guy that calls me a pedophile. Okay, yeah, he's, so so, he's, so am he's, I supposed to am I supposed to believe this guy because he just said this? No, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying he said Timothy has threatened. Am I supposed to believe that or no? Threatened no, death on no, Adam because of Kurt Schring. When the fuck am I that? De- Fuck, Mokai, you a lying piece of shit. Timothy has threatened death on Adam because of Kurt's stream. Let me let me Show tell you, receipt, this. motherfucker. Let, let me let me tell you this, Adam, because like like who this guy is. Like three years ago, we were friends with this with this independent rapper, really small artist, not even worth mentioning his name at this point. Uh, we knew this guy. This Mokai dude does a background He's my stand. Find- finds out that this guy was a was a predator basically and we didn't have any way of knowing that because you don't do a background check at least in southeast kentucky you don't do a background check on everybody you fucking meet um so we didn't know that shit and um so anyway three four years later now however long it's been this guy's still trying to say that we support pedophiles and all this shit even though we cut ties with that guy as soon as we found that shit out so no, like like that guy is the definition of a fucking troll. Death and he's of all just, pedophiles, period. Yeah, abs- absolutely, man. Fuck pedophile, fuck predators, fuck any of that shit. If you fuck him with a kid, dog, I got a five year old daughter. I don't stand on anybody that fucks with a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like like fuck all that shit. Even if I didn't have a daughter, I wouldn't be about that shit. But I'm saying like straight up, dude. I'm an uncle. You know what I'm saying? I got you know two nephews, niece, 
And I ain't with that shit either, man. So, yeah, I agree with that wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Fuck that creep shit. I ain't with that. Anyway, this guy, no. What he says in the background is not worth fucking. I will tell you this. When me and Tyler were going at each other, we said some foul shit to each other, and I still used my civilian job to help him financially with his That's family, true. and yeah. I didn't hold it against him. That's true. Yeah. We we had we kept a good relationship. Like that's what I'm saying. Well, no, we didn't keep a good relationship. Let me let me rephrase. When it came to like grown man shit that we had to talk to each other about, we talked civilly, and then we said "fuck you" at the end, and fucking didn't talk again until we were yelling at each other. Like, but see, what you just said is how actual men. Some of us <laughs> no, are really I know it's crazy, right? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. But the thing is, a lot of these motherfuckers on the internet that just stay on the internet and don't have never lived. Like, listen, I had a job for real in real life working with men. That's all I did is fucking work in the fucking union and in fucking mm. th that old fucking refinery that I worked with off of 48th and Oakley in fucking Inglewood in Chicago. Right. No, I am not from Chicago. Have I lived in Chicago when I was chasing down rap? Yes. Here and there for a year, here and there. I've been all that's another thing. Oh, I can't do country because I did motherfucker. I've lived in the country. I've lived in the fucking hood. I've lived in the fucking suburbs. Yeah, you lived out in my neck of the woods for a little while. Yeah. Where are you at? Uh, Southeast Kentucky. Like about... my whole family's from Southeast Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. That's so what I'm saying. They're all from fucking like Pikeville and Frenchburg. Yeah. Yeah. See, my, my dad lives in Hazard. So like it's 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 not too far from Pikeville. Yeah, it's just shit. a little bit. Yeah. But. These mother, a lot of these people, they're just on the internet. They only exist on the fucking internet. That's mm. it. Yeah. And I understand that I am on the fucking internet right now, but every single day I am outside. There ain't no security fucking with me anywhere I go. See me at a show. There ain't no fucking security there. I will tell you working this. For the fucking venue. When, when the shit went down between you and church. What? Can I, sorry. What? And, and the, when the whole comment section thing on this video you know what yes. i'm talking about yep. you said air me out yep <laughs> i reached out to just in time and this is what he told me and he said You're you can quote me on this he said i look at this like two parents fighting because i have respect for both of them sometimes you just gotta let your parents sit back and fight and don't get involved mm. and that's what he said just in time i have known just in time for almost seven fucking years I got mad respect for him. I've heard people drag his name through the mud, yes. try to drag his name through the mud. Yes. Discredit him. Everything he's fucking done. I have never, that motherfucker has only been loyal to me and never done anything bad to me. And guess what? I have only been loyal to him and never done anything bad to him ever. And we're still friends to this day. Demon yeah. Jones, still friends with the, to this day. Struggle Jennings, still friends with to this day. Everyone that I've, almost everyone that I've made, uh, uh, relationships with in this industry, I have some type of relationship with still to this fucking day. Now, the the shit that's going on with me and church, you guys don't think that shit bothers me? I'm sure it does. Yeah. No, 100. percent I I know it it bothers a cow because again, you look at you know all the shit that they've done together. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about just the music, but also those funny uh videos that they did on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like the Wolf Vicky video that. That famous Will Vicky video that that they did, to which Church now trashes on. If you go and watch the Captain Kirk video, he tries to make A Cow look like a weirdo because I don't know. I guess Will Vicky at the time, that girl, she was like, I think Church tried to say she's like like fourteen, fifteen years old, somewhere around there, and and A Cow was the one who had the idea and said that, oh, you know, you want to make fun of this this girl. Uh, this, this this freaking girl who who thinks she's black but she's really white and everything, and Church try try to play off like like he thought it was weird, but yet still went along with it, and you still did the video. So obviously you didn't have that big of an issue with it, and you still stuck your head out of the doorway and said the n word. So again, let's 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 not play ourselves, Church. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's be real, man. Let's be let's be let's keep it a fucking a buck, dude. I mean, come on, let's go. And then you got people on the internet steer, stirring it up, it bothers me even more. But don't get it fucked up. I cannot, I said in that video, I cannot be scared what you're going to say about me. And I'm not going to be, I can't, scared? 
motherfucker, dude, motherfucker, we're gonna we're, we got a certain amount of time on this life. We're having kids, married, fucking families. We're on this is the internet. Scared? Scared of what? Yeah. Scared of a fight? No. Scared of a fucking battle? Rap battle? No. So what are we talking about? Scared of what? Mm. I think some of these motherfuckers think Ryan Upchurch is is this. I mean, they build him up to be this fucking what? They build him up like like he's some kind of god. You know what I mean? And that's why he has like this god complex thing going on. Motherfuckers think Ryan can beat Eminem in a rap battle. Which I'm sorry, but Ryan does can, cannot match bar for bar with Eminem. And I'm not even the, like the biggest Eminem fan right now. Not not with all his his recent stuff, and not with you know things that I'm hearing about him. You know. In regards to a certain island, uh, yeah, but no, it, still, I, I would, I would still say that no, lyrically, bar for bar, no, Eminem would smoke Ryan up church. I'm sorry, sorry, not sorry, but that's just, that's just the truth. Are you fucking smoking crack? I hate Eminem. I can't stand his fucking political and societal beliefs. But Eminem, same. Eminem. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate the dude. Hate is a strong word. I don't like him. I don't care for him these days. You know what I mean? I'm more of a fan of his older stuff. Not so much him now, but like late 90s to early 2000s Eminem. Not current day Eminem. Mm -mm. Fuck that guy. Like him or not is the best rapper who has ever fucking lived. Ryan Upchurch has done a really good job for himself in his music career. Better than me. I'll even say that. And that's called being humble, ladies and gentlemen. I do not think Ryan Upchurch is a better fucking rapper than me. Not when it comes to hip hop. Ain't no fucking way in hell. And if he thinks otherwise, shoot, motherfucker. Other than that, sh yeah, uh, exactly. Why does Adam have to come at you first? I mean, if you really want to go bar for bar with Adam, why don't you fire the first shot? And I don't mean no subliminal sneak diss bullshit that that, that you did recently. No, no, no. Really go in on Adam and say his name. Put his name on the title so that way we know, okay, he's finally going to go in on Adam. Fire the first shots. It doesn't matter really who fires first. What, what really matters is who has the best lyrics, right? And who has all the facts. So if you're that good as you like to claim that you are, you wouldn't have no problems going in on Adam like, like how you did to Tom. But no, see, you'd rather make vlog videos about Adam instead of rapping at Adam. Why? Maybe you're the shook one. Shut the fuck up and keep my name out of your fucking mouth. Yes. Facts. Because I haven't said shit, and I'll go back Facts. to not saying shit. Yep. You got to understand, he's already said something about me the other day. Yep. Before that, he said something be behind stage on an interview with some reactor. Oh, talking about me again? Like, dog, yep. why are you keep talking about me? Yep. I haven't said shit about you. Yep. What have I done so wrong to this motherfucker? That he has not done wrong to me. Have I said, mm. like, man, fuck that dude. Yeah. Me and me and Tim just said fuck you to each other. Yep. Does that mean I hate Tim? No. I know for a fact that Ryan has fucking dogged me behind mm -hmm. closed doors. I know that for a motherfucking fact. And then you got Johnny. Man, I ain't even going to bring that fucking mucus, mucus next man looking ass up. <laughs> Johnny Gobble? No. Just fucking whatever, man. Anyway, Tim Lawrence said, hey, Cal, got all your merch. It's dope. Hope you and Ryan collab. Uh, hope you and Ryan collab have again, even if it's five years from now. Let's go. Love all the music. Bro, let me tell you something. I've been holding this in, and anyone in this chat that's been here the whole time, I'm going to apologize. I come in blazing hot because. Look at that, man. Like a grown man. On some grown man shit. He just apologized to everyone in the chat for coming in hot, you know what I'm saying, and saying what he said. That's a man right there. And people wonder why I have so much you know, respect for Adam. Because that right there, you know what I'm saying? He recognizes who he is. He knows, yeah, he's a bit of a hothead sometimes. Yeah, he's a bit more reactive than he should be proactive. You know what I'm saying? But at least he can recognize his faults and at least he can own his faults and apologize. That's a man. That's a whole man right there. So, AK, if you're watching this, much respect to you, bro. Let's go. This shit is my life. Like, when I say this shit is my life, this career that I've made for myself is my fucking life. So when I see people fucking with it and, and, and 
when I'm not instigating shit, literally nothing. I'm just literally uh, since that video I I, I set, sent back to Ryan. I took the high road and was like, man, I basically I love you, bro, and I don't know what the here's like that video, right? Since that video, I've dropped seven music videos. Haven't fucking dropped a vlog, no nothing. And then I got people saying I would send Chuck after him to do some shit, brother. <laughs> literally, no one can tell Chuck shit. No one. Me and him have fucking damn near fought and beat the shit out of each other and fucking yelled at each other, not been friends, haven't talked for years, come back. Like we I've known this dude for since I was a teenager. Y'all just met in defense recently, correct? I'm sorry? Y'all just met in defense recently, correct? No, like more how what's recently? Like a year ago? <laughs> I mean, I seen the video that y'all did. Yeah, well, that was a couple months ago, but 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 yeah, we we've, we've been talking for a, a, about a year now. But even before that, it was like a year where we didn't talk, or, or we'll go on and off from talking throughout our lives because we have different views on the world. Sometimes I wasn't very uh, what's the I don't want to say religious, but I didn't have a relationship with God. Uh, he did. He ta he takes it very serious. Uh, I was out there running. I was lost. I was sick mentally. Um, I, I was, I'm no angel now, but I was, I was, I was just doing things that, um, I mean, just, just the fucking women and just out and fucking being all over the fucking place. I was, man, I was, that's all I wanted to do. And it was, it's an empty fucking life. You know, I can help you with your mental part. Uh, I, you know what? I appreciate that. Number one, number two. I have found a lot of help by praying every day and running well, my fucking what, ass off. That's what I was going to tell you. So in 2000, I'm going to just tell you a real quick story. In 2009, when I retired on uh, February 28th, March 1st, I became a civilian. From March 1st, 2009 to December 1st, 2010, I became the biggest worry work that you could imagine. I worried about every little minute thing in my life to the point where for the last eight months, I was afraid to go to sleep at night because I thought I was going to die in my sleep. Same. And I would, I would literally throw up every single night before I went to bed. On December 1st, 2010 was a changing point in my life, and this is what happened. I was sitting on my front porch smoking a cigarette, getting ready to go to work, drinking a cup of coffee, and I had this app on my phone that would send me random tidbits, little facts. Like, you can only find this flower in this part of the country or this tree in this type of terrain. And it sent me three messages, and all three messages were tied together. The first one said, there are 763,363 words in the King James Bible. There's one word that's not in there. You know what that word is? Can't. Worry. W-O-R-R-Y. It says, God says, give me all your troubles and I'll bear them for you. True. The second message that sent me said the most easiest passage for a person to remember was Mark 11, 22. Four simple words. Have faith in God. The third message that sent me about hit me to the floor. Now, growing up, my grandmother was my Sunday school teacher, and she used to tell me all the time that God speaks to us every day. We just got to hear or see his message. And it said, when a person worries, you're allowing the devil to get in your mind to question yeah. your faith to God. Yeah. I feel like I said, that, yeah. whoa, that's deep. I said, you must be talking to me, big guy. You sure you want my problems? Because I'm a basket case. So I took that leap of faith, and I gave everything to him. And I can promise you, hand to God. I haven't worried about a single thing since. I don't worry about money. I don't worry about my marriage. I don't worry about dying or living. I don't worry about losing my job. I literally live a worry-free life because I give everything to him. So whenever you worry, you're allowing the devil to get inside your mind to question your faith to God. I, I, I believe that. I, <laughs> that's, the, that's the root of most of my, um, what is it, anxiety and, and shit. Mm -hmm is worrying and you know what guys let me go ahead and stop it here but we'll pick it up in part three um i'll actually wind it back so we, we can get the context again in part three um so yeah this was uh part two from of my reaction to uh triple t's uh adam calhoun uh comes up on the panel to confront triple t uh this is the video clip from a live that triple d triple d <laughs> triple t did with alpha tyler um, when ACAL came on, uh, this was streamed, uh, see the first video I did was yesterday and it was three days. So now that it makes it four days ago now, 
So yeah, man, if you guys want to go and watch that, um, I'll be sure to remember to link it. I'll actually go back and edit the first video because I don't think I linked either the live or this video. I'll probably link this video uh, in the description of this reaction. And then I'll go back and I'll link this um, whole uh, interview in the original or the first part of the reaction if I haven't done it already. Um, so yeah. That way you guys can watch it on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. You know what I mean? Go show Triple T some love. I'm sure he would appreciate that. Let him know that your boy, JJV, done sent you. I'm sure he would appreciate that, as would I. And, uh, yeah. And, again, y'all know the deal, man. If, if you're able to, you want to check out some, some of the links in my description. Want to, you know, buy some stuff or whatever. Uh, links for all that is in the description down below. If you're not able to uh, support that way, all good. If you're new here, uh, remember that... You can always do all the free YouTube things like commenting, sharing, and of course subscribing, especially if you're new and uh, especially if you're digging the vibes here. That'd be very much appreciated. It still helps me out too. You know what I mean? So yeah. All right, y'all. With all that being said, it is your boy, JJV, saying y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all in the next one. All right. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, What's up with you, Jason? JV. What up, Jason? JV. Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm going to have to do that to do it on the street. Who's saying what's up to me? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!